God, I pray. Gotta make it out some way. Put a smile back on my mama face. Yeah, I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning, not I pray. Gotta make it out some way. Put a smile back on my mama face. Yeah. So tell us, how do we, um, first, we how did over, you come we home? Over. You know, did you, how did you come home, right? Because we have different things. Jennifer we have McKim. Out. Yeah, Jennifer McKim, right? You know, uh, um, was it so a new trial GDH, or? Yeah, yeah, I took it all away. So it's a difference in, in this innocence. I'm not saying the next person wouldn't be, but I'm saying that, you know, like my brother Toot and various ones, you can take it back to them. My thing was, you had me my whole life, and then you want to break some bread small. It take a minute to get to it. I was already at risk my whole life from 18 from Walpole on. My life has always been at risk. You put it at risk. So. My thing was I'm not making no deals. I had every deal possible. Even before I went to jail, I was offered a, a six to eight, which means I would have only did four years. I would never take the deal then. So in the end, I wouldn't take the deal. Like, let's put this aside and we can negotiate. And No, I want a new trial. I want it. I understood that from the jail on, everybody was saying he's crazy. Man, this dude, crazy. Is, he, what is he doing? Why would he fight them and force himself to be back on the trial and beef with them and not make no deals? That's why he's in there from the first. He didn't take the first so deal. So you, you got found. Principles. Yeah. Principle. And my principles stood. It worked out for me, right? No matter what the suffrage was, it worked out for me. I was bigger than that moment. You're bigger than that moment. The people out here that's doing what we're doing, we're bigger than that moment, man. You understand that? So I was able to transfer that energy, which comes right back to here. I found my self-worth, and in this instance, the worth is being able to say something about where we've been. So not guilty. Yeah, yeah, not, 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 not guilty. And then did not they, guilty did directly. They, so that's full did, exoneration. Yeah, there is no question. Did I they put have it back another to a whole trial? Other jury. Because I read something. They yeah, had I, another that's what we're talking about now. I actually went back to trial. They wanted to do it so bad. So you actually see the videos from the trailer, me telling them, you want to retrial? Let's go. No, uh, I went on. back to trial. Let, let me re you got found not guilty. Right. And then they tried again or something like that. I'm like, how did No, 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 no bro. Cause, oh, cause I'm already in prison 32 years. No, no, no. I know that part. Right. But I was reading something again. It said they found you not guilty. And then you went. They try to retry you on something else. Another murder. Something no, else. no. That is okay. the re-guilty. Okay. The, I'm in prison. No, I know. I know that. Right, right. Yeah. But the part you're not understanding is that I'm in prison. While I'm in prison, I overturned my case. Because of all these things, I had juror corruption, everything. Yeah, yeah. Racism in the juror. One of the jurors came forward, brought the other one. The judge had to call them all in. I got the video cut up. I'm the only person since 1967 to sit in the prison docket during the whole trial. Never even talked to my lawyer. While my lawyer sat way a car and a half the way and they conducted my trial. You see serial killers yeah. sitting next to their lawyers. I wasn't even part of mine. You understand it? But the bottom line is I'm in prison. I overturned it on all these issues. Now I'm home. Same way my brother Joseph been and others are home. I didn't have to brace any of that because I had a lot, a lot of factual stuff. So I never had a curfew. I never had any of that type of stuff. But brothers be out here on that and sisters. Then they, they're going to make the deal. Like you're going to see that sometime yeah, yeah. it happens. They're going to say, okay, rather cop than go back to, to trial, this. rather than cop out the trial, served. take this time served, yeah. and then you can sue whatever you're going to do. They work at every kind of angle. My thing was, no, I want a new trial. So I'm beefing. We're going to have a new trial. I had a new trial because that, for me, was full exoneration. Mm -hmm. I mean, I took it right back to where you started. I put it right back in front of 12 of your people, and now y'all knew what you did. I want to see all that stuff said again. I want to see all those witnesses. I want to see this, and we did that, and that was not guilty. That's my full exoneration, thus being home. And then you also had in, um, in, in your case, it's something that I know um, and we had to talk about, but one of the women that told in your case um, – she was set up by the police. And, well, the police got her to set you, up, you know, work against you and, and paid her to the say whatever they wanted. The police used her to take my life, you know what I mean? Right, and drugs, there you go. And drugs helped her in doing it. There you go. And sadly, you know what I mean, she's not on just one case. What? You understand that? Sadly. I didn't know that. She's and not I just know on this person. Case. So these things, <laughs> this is what I'm crazy. saying. And so people look at me crazy because we were in certain programs, and I come and she's there and whatever it is. Let me, let me explain to you. And, of course, this person is the primary witness that they're using to put me away. But as I always said to her and her family, right, this is how I look at it. Sure, I understand the hood prep. I get the idea. The concept is like, yo, you know what? Um, you did that to me, right? This is the no you smoke. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to deal with that. Right, I'm never gonna would you, even near me. Like you want to take a picture, you want to talk because they called you back and you're trying to straighten it now. My perception of that is different. My perception is 
your ignorance was your ignorance then, and they could make use of it. You're not the only one they're going to make use of. But when you become an adult, it's time for you too to start speaking on that so, truth. That's my issue. That's been my only so, issue. I can tolerate so that, she, but you should be speaking, or you should get her on here and talk to her. Yeah. The programs are working with that person. Right. You understand? So, so now right. you should be saying, this is what we got on board, right. and what are we talking to you about? Like, let's get to the real fact. Yeah. Are you going to come out now and really talk? Right. Is she, is she trying to rectify all the other stuff? Bro, I haven't, you know, I'm going yeah, to leave that to this. <laughs> I'm going to actually leave that to this. I think I've been more than kind. I think I've been fair. I, I've been around a family and everything you said you believe. You know it wasn't me. It's time again, I keep saying, for you to go on that platform and rectify so that we can get all the things we need to know, how they worked it on you, what they did. Right. Right. Because I'm, be I'm not out them. here running the mad. It might look stupid to anybody else. Let me tell you, let me tell you short. I want to tell dudes one thing, and I want to be clear about this. We come from a community, and I'm, I really want to end on this note. We come from a community... That's what kind of know your smoke is. We come from a community where the main thing that can damage a young brother or a young sister trying to grow up in their hood is that they took a short, so to speak. Somebody dissed them. Somebody did something to them. They, you took a short. Right. You understand? That's the main thing that can happen to us. You took a short. So we have to address that. Ro hit my car, and then she was supposed to pay. She don't. That's a short. Yeah. Dude, respect you. Call you out your name. It's short. Yeah. You got to handle that. That's how we designed everything. Then I go, it's really amazing to me. That the biggest short all of us took, every gangster in this community has taken, is them throwing us in the joint and treating us like they did, and they still living out here in the communities right where we went to prison. The guards are still going shopping right around you, everybody that been gas brothers, yeah. sick dogs on them and everything. What about that short? Yeah, that's a, that's a major short. What about that short when they took you, your mother died, and you're sitting in that prison, right, and your brother got shot, and you couldn't go to his funeral, and this happened and that happened, and, and you forgetting the biggest short we took? Or they locked your man. It fooled somebody's man and your boys. He's a gang leader. He's your man. And you know they gave him more time and they did something. All we're doing is talking about it. Mentioning it in a rap song. We can find thousands of rap songs where they'd be like, my dude up north, he was the chef. We can find all that. What did you do about it? Mm -hmm. You actually made it to a position where you got some clout. You can say some things loud. What did you do about it? You understand that? Where was the pressure? Where was the response? Those Amen. are my concerns. Yeah. Those are my concerns. The short... You can register me right now for taking a whole bunch of shorts. I might hear a lot of stuff. I'm, I see how people play it. I see the programs that'll go. I see when the invites come, when they don't. I see how they go. I know how I was being used. I know when. I know it's, we need to make some noise. Uncall up the rail joint. He come down. He yeah, come down here. Yeah, he come out. You take pictures with me. When I look at anybody that ever took a picture with me, and I go, the short that'll be taken, you're really not making a mockery of me at all. You're making a mockery of you. Because if you took time to be in pictures with me over and over and over again and be seen with me, and then you somewhere else backbiting, trying to keep me off this strap of getting to your little jump change or your grants or whatever shine there is, bro, my shine don't have nothing to do with the average man's shine. My shine is a light that actually I'm using for something I want to do. You understand it? And who I can help and what I can do. And it's exhausting. It takes a lot of time, bro. I see it in myself. I see it in my face. I see me tired. I came home and started that. The papers, the movement, the videos, your Facebook will tell you what I came home and done. I wasn't already out here and then jumped on and started making noise. A lot of people not understanding that. You, right. can, you can play that role, but I wasn't already out here for years and then a movement happened and I slide right. in and then now all of a sudden I'm the movement. I came home doing that, and I was doing that from the joint. And that's why I said it is going to come time to put up those resumes. You can't hire the right people. To all you leaders out here, you can front on our people. You've always been designing our leaders, and you've always been designing who can speak. Right. Even at a small-time job at Kentucky Fried Chicken, they want some kind of resume. You know why they ain't asking for no resume? They ain't really going back saying, okay, this dude say he do all this to that person. What you do in the joint? Did you right. ever, ever build anything? What did you right. really do yeah. to come out and be able to say, I'm going to put this brother in charge or I'm going to make him the face of something that he can't even damn explain? <laughs> right. Yeah. You understand that? And we do that for ourselves. Just because my man is the number one killer in the neighborhood and he's the illest dude, I'm allowing him to misuse himself because if he's got that much control, there is value out here for us. You understand that there's things we can piece ourselves. There's a lot of money. You want to know the criminal justice system? All the people that are telling us about it or read it from our lives have studied it from our lives. But if we took control of that ourselves with our lives, you'd be getting that money directly. Yeah. Because we have a service, too, we provide. We provide in our lives. We provide correction. We're waking up children. We're waking up families. That is a service. 
we got a service too. Help assist in that service so we get on more platforms to try to work with these kids, our people. Not only prevent somebody from going in, damn sure pull help somebody, somebody that's been there too, too long. Yeah, help and it ain't just prison. When people associate it like that's a prison issue, I'm really not into prison, I'm into something else. Let me explain something to you. Everything is prison. People out here don't even know they're in prison because they don't see their wall. Prison is the same thing you just went through under a different name, COVID. Okay. You know when them little times when everybody's out here stressing because you couldn't go to the club you wanted to go to, you got to wear a mask, you got to do all these things you're fighting about, mm -hmm. right? All these little things that are happening to you, and in a year, two time, everybody's breaking, going crazy, they can't handle it. Take, we, we ain't wearing a mask. They going, they, they'll kill you behind it. And I'm going, your little two years of suffrage of that is every day year suffrage for us doing that. Hmm. Under direction. Somebody stop your play for a minute. Somebody stopped us. I'm caught up in this fast life. Every morning that I pray.